my dad was on Start.com. Yeah. And um, so Start.com. That's cool. Start.com. Yep. Yep. Um, An MSN project. MSN incubation project. And where are we? <laughs> We're at one forty eighth and the We're driving towards Red Rest Sea. Um one forty eighth and fifty first. Alright. And that's uh, where MSN is, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And what do you guys do at Start so you are the Start.com team? We are. There's one other There's person one on the Start.com team, yeah. but it's yep, it's the it's basically the, the three of us right now. And we're gonna go get a demo of it. Right? We're gonna get a demo of, of what we just released uh, a couple weeks ago, like last week, week or something. Yeah. 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 Start.com slash three. Start.com slash three. Yep. My web, but yeah. My W three B. Cool. Well, this is the uh, MSN this campus. Right so this is, as you can see by the sign, we are in MSN territory over here. I'm gonna grab a visitor for you. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll get two tickets I always do today. that. We got enough tickets already. I've already you, gotten one today. You got a ticket? I've never gotten a ticket. <laughs> oh my god. I I have a whole collection. Oh. You can park in the place, please, buddy. And I am, I'm Sanaz. I, I joined, um, when did I join? March? You joined in... I've early. been kind of, I've known about the project since November. I joined officially in March, and I'm the program manager for. Uh, All right, let's let's stop this and pick it up inside. All right. Yeah, let's yeah. go inside. So, how long did it take to code to code start .com? Uh, Well, let's see. The first release we had was in March, and basically there was a series of prototypes. I think we spent about three weeks on. Okay. So we spent about three weeks coding it. And um, at some point, they were, and these were just internal prototypes. Right? And at some point, our boss was like, "You know what? We should just get this out there on the web." And um, who's your boss? Uh, my boss is Eugene, and it was it was haughty above him who said, "We gotta get this stuff out there on the web." I mean, this you know this stuff is good enough for for what we're doing. Um, just ship it. And we said, "You know, seriously, this is you know we've just got some prototype code here." He's like, "Yeah, let's just ship it and see what happens." You know, we won't we won't tell anybody. You know what the URL is. We'll put it on, you know, put it on something like you know, start.com/one or we'll pick something. So we said, all right. Um, so we did that, and um, it, we waited about a week, a week and a half, and we're like, you know, we're kind of like, oh, you know what, you know, I wonder how long it's going to take before this thing gets, you know, gets discovered. And I think somebody leaked it, right? I think. I think the search team had a party, or you know, oh, really? <laughs> much somebody fear. was like, you know what? Because I mean, it had been getting a little bit of circulation inside of um, MSN. You know, search guys were like, oh, we're using this as our, you know, as our homepage. This is this is cool, man. And then I think it was March. I think it was March 18th. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was at home, and you know, it's been like 40 emails. And like, oh, you see, we just got outed. You know, we just got outed, and all my buddies. And it was funny because as soon as we got outed, I think we put up the message immediately of support for Firefox coming soon. Yeah, we, didn't have, we had no. <laughs> like our overnight. Firefox, our Firefox support was. We had no Firefox. Right? Yeah. You go to the page of Firefox, and it was literally like nothing. I mean, there was. I think there was a, a div on the page, and all the, basically all the content was squished into this tiny little area on the page, right? <laughs> And we're like, and and there was, that was probably like a third of our feedback. People were like, oh man, you got to support yeah. Firefox. You know, this oh, here's the famous M and M's. Another M and M. How many years? This is Marcy. Well, this is Marcy's office. She's a she's the admin. She keeps this thing she stocked all the time. Oh, this yeah. is really bad because my office is like right there. So. <laughs> and those jars, I think they get empty. Probably, I see her out here filling them up like once a day. So, so we're going right here all right. to this office right here. Cool. We have. You can see we were. Oh, we sorry, it's a little messy. We still have lunch oh. left over. This is hey. my lunch from earlier today <laughs> that I'm still cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> the, be the more messy, the more real it is. This yeah. Is the real, the real yeah. This thing. is all like our papers. We're planning on the whiteboard. You probably don't want to show that. But <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Top secret stuff. <laughs> is it start.com slash four? Yeah. Basically, Actually, that's, yeah. There's yeah. a picture of my condo down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can erase this. Uh, <laughs> it's on. It's on channel nine now. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> so what are we, okay. We'll have to blur that part we'll, out or we'll something. We'll blur that part out. Yeah. So um, you guys are going to give me a demo later. So we're going to give you a demo, yep. So um, what else do I need to know? So it, you guys just are like the renegade team and... 
we are the yeah we're sort of the you know, now, now how do you ship software at Microsoft? I, I keep hearing that we're not allowed to ship software here. <laughs> That's one of my friends on the outside. Right. Right. <laughs> we should talk about how we shipped uh, slash three. You want to talk about? That? Yeah, we were basically. When was it? It was like on June third on Friday. Yep. Um, uh, basically, I. I'm basically in Steve's office all the time, even though I have my own office. But uh, she's got her chair right there. That's my chair. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, how do you get? Just an odd chair. You know, how do you get the deluxe chair? It's, it's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a table. Chair. So. Yeah, Joel Spolsky was saying we can't get good chairs here. Don't tell you where I got it from. It's pretty sweet, and we basically, you know, we sat down and we're like, okay, let's ship this thing, and. Uh, Work through our issue. We always, you know, put our issues on the whiteboard. We put little check boxes over against every single one, and just kept on, you know, chugging away at it. And then people would keep on emailing me, you know, hotties emailing other people. Emailing. I'm like, where is this thing? And we're like, it's coming, it's coming, and and it was all done. And it was literally like, so it's like, okay, let's put it in production. Five minutes, runs a script. Okay, it's live. Let's it's send live. an email. <laughs> Let's go get dinner. Exactly. Come back and fix the bugs. And, yeah, yeah we, we got dinner and we're just like on our smartphones. We keep on getting reply yeah. replies to like the release mail. Of yeah. This release was that, this release was fun because like it basically was. it was, you know, we had start.com slash one that we did in March. Yeah. And a month later we did start.com slash two, right? And we had all we've got like this huge list of all these ideas that we want to do, right? So we're like, okay, for this. Sprint, right? We're trying to do this agile stuff. We're going to put all these features in slash two, and then for three, you know, of course, at that point, we get all the feedback saying, "Man, slash one is awesome." You know, I use it as my homepage. You guys should do this. You know, well, we, we love the feedback. You know, we like, all we read feedback. all the feedback. When people, that people like send the, the, us. when we shipped um, start.com slash one, right? I yep. think, and then we got discovered a week and a half later. Two days later, I mean, we'd gotten like a hundred emails on our feedback of these, and then people were creating like screencasts, you know, you know how, like yep. John Udell, Udell creates the screencast of like, you know, uh, I think Google Maps. They created a screencast of this guy. Uh, he created a screencast of like, you know, how to use Start.com. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. People were sending in like comps of like, oh, I like the page, but I hate your color scheme. You know, what, where the hell did you guys pick these colors? Right? And it was where just, did you pick the colors? It was just me, you know, just saying, all right, I've got these color values, and I just stuck them in there, because it was just for our prototype. Yeah, when I, I mean, started, we were more picky on colors. You know, but <laughs> I, I, like, I like nice colors, but yeah. they were just, you know. So what is it? What, awesome. what did start that kind of, if, if you were telling your mom, what, what it I is? I tell my, well, you know, everybody has their own idea what it is, but I tell my mom, it's like, everything that you want to aggregate on the web, I don't use aggregate, as you probably, yeah. you're probably going to watch this and say, I understand what aggregate means, but everything she wants on the on the web, like she wants her email, she wants weather, she wants the favorite sites that she's been to, she wants her, you know, she wants grandma's blog on there, yeah. right? Your grandma has a blog? My grandma, well, I want her to have a blog. <laughs> I can't convince her. Uh, I still can't like, get my mom to, to blog. She start, just started sending photos through emails. <laughs> I want, it's like I want every you know everything that you know. It's it's and I mean it's not really like a portal because portal's got portal's basically like a portal's like a list. Of, portal's, <laughs> portal's like a, a, a portal's like a list of links, right? Yeah. It's like your. It's like your, you know, it's like the, it's like a page that you make with just a bunch of HTML links, or it's like a, just a jumping off point. Okay, Ours was sort of idea. like, we want to take this content that you're interested in and, and have it like as an application, right? So, you know, if you're interested in like podcasting stuff and you're, you're subscribed to everybody's podcasts, you should be able to not just have click that link and go to their page with their podcast. It should actually, you know, show the, you know, a play button in the module, and you click play, and you get the prog progress dialog, and you know, just you know, pull everything from around the web that you're interested in onto your page. It's kind of like a nice stuff. view your, of, you know, you know, my web. Everything yeah. that you're interested in, get it in one place. If I check my Google stock or my Microsoft stock or whatever every day, I just get it right there. Yeah. Or weather or what NBC has, top news, podcasting, yeah. even like, even we've been talking about like writing a good little grocery list and having a roaming notepad that you can just get it right there. So this, yeah, so this is like the 35 floor elevator pitch, right? <laughs> yeah. But basically it's just anything that you want to, you know, all your web content should be on one page. Yeah. And, and as, a, as like an application, so. Very cool. Are you making fun of my elevator no, pitch? I, was, I, was, I, was I just realized I'm like, 35 it. floors is very long. Uh, <laughs> we only have three floors here. <laughs> <laughs> up and down, up and down. Up and down. <laughs>
<laughs> but, um, so Slash 3 was, you know, Slash 3 was a lot of fun. I mean, it was basically just taking all the feedback and saying, everybody likes stuff from 2, everybody likes stuff from 1. How are we going to combine that stuff? Like, you know, and then... Slash 3 was on Friday, and I don't know if you noticed, but we had a huge facelift of just the UI on Wednesday. Yeah. And it was just basically based on the feedback. Mm -hmm. Well, all the whole... We had our annoying the blue and green feel, like, colors. It was the, the blue and green. It was the same colors Chinese we had puzzle. since... Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> we had some bugs with like the way you drag the modules around, and yeah. nobody could understand how you drag the modules around. It was I mean, pretty cool on paper. Even Bill Gates did a demo at the, oh, yeah. the D conference in San Diego, right? And the only feedback he had was... And this module thing is crap. I think it's broken. It doesn't. You can't drag it, or you know, it doesn't make sense when you drag it around. So we, so we, we fix that. Right away. <laughs> Bill does get his bugs fixed, doesn't he? <laughs> we fixed that one for Bill. You know, yeah. So yeah. Hey, Bill, we fixed the we fixed your bugs. So. <laughs> um, but we, I mean, there, so there was a ton of that stuff. Yeah. Very cool. So you want to show it to us? Yeah, let's, sure. Let's, uh, let's fire Do it you want us fire it up? Oh, you got the nice little Dell screens. I don't know what's going to be Hey, Joel, Joel said he, it, it, we didn't have good screens here for our developers. But <laughs> nice chairs. No, I'm just kidding, Joel. <laughs> if you follow my blog, you, you know what I'm talking about. Do you have the those those new modules deleted from your cookie? Um, you probably should do that. Can we edit the... Let's see, let's see what we can. You know, the track stuff. Editing? I don't do editing. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, these There's something going on. <laughs> yeah, remote session. Yeah, that's really oh, cool. yeah, remote yeah, session. That's, uh, sort of hung up. Of yeah, but, Excellent. Okay, you can see I'm doing a lot of work here. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, start.com slash three or start.com slash my web. Okay. Um, and right now, I mean, now, now I had to fill out a little game to get in there. You had to fill out a little puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, was... Sinaj, you want to talk about the, <laughs> yeah. the puzzle? Since you're in the light. <laughs> yeah, so the puzzle, the story is. It was, you know, Thursday, and Hottie has been asking this from us for quite a while. Hottie is the general manager for Amazon Portals, and he, he's been asking this for a while. He's like, you guys need to make it more exciting, you know, one, two, three, four, five, it's too predictable. And he's like, you know, you need to do a puzzle, and he gave us an idea of using instant answers from search. And he basically emailed me, he said, make a puzzle, use instant answers or something, and I spent like... All of Thursday night, oh, yeah, <laughs> coming yeah, up with. Came up with all the cool I basically I had to come up with what's the URL, what's the concept behind it. I know it's been getting a lot of criticism, so you can all blame it all on me. But <laughs> basically, cool I was like, there. okay, you know, maybe the URL should point to my web, and the E should be a three because three is the third version, and all the the answers will link off to search, and we don't want it to be predictable. So yeah. it was like, I actually had to really look into well. I had to actually look into Encyclopedia uh, in Carta that MSN Search links into to find some answers that made sense. And it was kind of getting boring when I was like, what's the tallest mountain or what's the whatever? And we're like, okay, let's like have some funky math equations and all that stuff. I thought so, it was fun. You had to go off and do some searching and yeah, yeah. find the answers. So anyway, so you uh, got yeah. it up going here. So this is it. So this, uh, this is it. Yeah, you can see that. Actually, so let me just stop. Can, you, can we close it, Shade? Let me. Yeah. Let me this is much better. Okay. Thanks. It'll be easier to see the screen. Let me do one more thing real quick. Right. So you're deleting the cookie so you get back to the default yeah. experience? Yep, that's what I'm doing here. Excellent. And we are under what cookies? Uh oh, you're going to see all the sites that I visited. Oh, <laughs> they're porn. They're porn. Probably. I'm going to scroll really fast. <laughs> I detect an HR violation here. <laughs> okay. We are. Let me close this down. And close, close, close. Oh, okay. Well, we get to do the puzzle now. <laughs> I know all the answers to these. So you know, I don't think any of us will forget the capital of Armenia. We're going to get t shirts, I think, with the Yerevan uh, yeah. <laughs> printed on the t shirt. Yerevan so. will probably be our next code name or something. <laughs> And then you can see here. What, what right. country are you from? Bella? I'm actually Persian. You are. Um, My wife's Persian. Thanks. Yeah, I know. I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed you. You talk about her. I'm like, that's a Persian name. So yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah. So what we're what we're looking at now is. Gotta the, get you together. To yeah. Have a big feast. <laughs> so we are looking at. So we're looking at the. This is the default experience that we get with. Um, uh, with start.com slash three. So while you're looking at it, we've got a few modules here on the page. Yep. Um, it's, we're, it's pretty minimal. We wanted to keep it that way. If you want it, a lot of people say, you know what, I, I don't even want modules on the page. I just want to have a search box. So we can do that too. So we've got 
when we click the hide button and we've just got a, a search box up here now. Right. Um, for example, I can search for something, I get my search results in the in this pop-up window here. Um, so I can go search for a bunch of different stuff in the Xbox 360. Um, we pull it all back in the in this pop up here, so that's pretty cool. And then if I say, you know what, I want to watch, you know, these search results for Xbox 360, I can go over here, pin this to the page, and you can see that somewhere on here. Yep, right here, I've got my Xbox 360 search results. Right. Um, and we're gonna fix it up a little bit so that you don't see so much detail, right? So you'll be able to see some more things on here. But so the idea is that you're you you're like, you know, what, I'm interested in these search results. You know, I'm interested in who's blogging about me, so I put my name in there, right? Yeah. And I can have a, a little dashboard module on the page, just showing you know all the you know all the um, search results on on my name, for example. Um, so you can see here we've got some modules on the page. We can, you know, we don't do our Chinese puzzle anymore of you know how to rearrange. You're just dragging modules. those things around. Right? I'm just dragging these guys around. I say, you know what? I want Reuters. I want Reuters over yeah. here. I want. I gotta have my boing boing at the, at the top, you know. And, who knows? I don't know what Boing Boing is going to show us. Some of this stuff may. Sometimes it's not safe for work. We'll, you know, we'll see how it goes right now. Um, but you can see that um, rather than being this, you know, sort of jumping off point where you go off to Boing Boing, you have to wait. You know, or for example, you go off to MSNBC or some other site, and you have to wait for all the rest of the page to download. We're just going to go and grab the actual data that you're interested in and then just show it right on the page. So that's why right. you can see that, I mean, this stuff is, you know, is real fast. Yeah. I mean, we can just open this. Yeah, but all locally cached? It's, this is actually live. This is going out and fetching this stuff uh, real time. It's, it is fast. Yeah. It's really nice stuff. So that was the whole goal is, that, you know, the web is, the web is fast. I mean, we've got these fast machines. We've got yeah. fast connections. We've got broadband. And it just, it's just depressing. How did you learn all the JavaScript to do this? How did I learn all the JavaScript? Yeah. Uh, I, I've been, Playing around with it a little bit over the last few years, but it wasn't just until last year that actually, you know how there was a when I first joined the team, we had a we had a, a demo uh, for Bill Gates, and that was kind of where I started learning the JavaScript because I, I knew that I wanted to put together something that was kind of had an, this was before Ajax was even coined, but it was like let's take some client side script, right? And now it's pretty standard, but the, in the browsers these days, right? Let's take some client side script, go and grab some data from the web. And start figuring out how we can show it on the page. Like for example, if I want to show an entire article from MSNBC, um, let's just go and grab the article content, right? Let's not grab any of that other crap on the page, like all the Chrome and stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's just get the content. We can do some cool stuff, like have two or three column views, um, and then show that on the page. So anyway, that was a demo that I was working on for a Bill Gates review, and um, I had to learn JavaScript pretty quickly because the demo was. was it's like three weeks after I joined or so. So I just yeah. crammed, figured out how to do this stuff, and then that was that was last September. So. What, what does AJAX mean? Um, well, a lot what of people... Is that officially stands for what? Asynchronous it stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. <laughs> I mean, before then, people were saying things like, oh, it's it's our XML HTTP way to get data. I mean, they were using all the buzz, you know, the, uh, the terminology, the technical terminology, to basically say it's a way for the client JavaScript to go and fetch something without the web page, you know, navigating to a new URL. Right. right. Mm -hmm. so you can see, like, when we're doing all this stuff, it's the, I mean, if you look at the URL up here, right, and I go and click on different items down here, we're actually going and fetching different content from around the web, and this URL is never changing. Yeah. Um, so that's sort of the, that's, I mean, a lot of people don't like the fact that it's called Ajax, but it is kind of, I like it, because it's, you know, it's a lot easier than saying, oh, it's just, you know, we're using XML, HTTP to, you know, Fetch data to the to the client. So right, um, and the fact that it's asynchronous. So, for example, if I click on something, I can I can draw something on the screen before the data even comes back in. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. So, like for example, every time I'm actually, you know, if I go and open or close this module here, yeah. right. So if I close the module and I refresh the page, it's in the same state. So every time I'm doing this, we actually tell the server that we want to remember that I've kept this module closed. Right. So when I click on this, we're actually making round trips to the server every time. But we're drawing it first, and then doing the round trip to the server, you know, in the background. So that's kind of where the asynchronous part comes in. Yeah. So it just makes it, the whole goal is that, you know what, we can make this web stuff feel really fast, feel really, really responsive, and kind of hide the stuff behind the scenes, the fact that we're actually going and, you know, transferring data and all that stuff. Now, so how much of this is done on the client, and how much of it's done on the server? 
Um, it's almost all done on the client. I mean, the only thing that this, that our server is doing right near right now is that it's um, it's storing the the state of you know this module, for example. So that, like when I refresh the page, it's it's still you know collapsed. Okay. Um, and it's and then this cookie. It, well, yeah, it's doing that with cookies. And then the other thing it's doing is that when we go and fetch um, the data for the RSS feed, for example, we route it through our server. Okay. Um, there's some security warnings that you get with. Windows XP, SP2, and stuff like that. So, so really, it's just you know. And what browsers does this work with? Uh, it works in uh, IE and Firefox, and we have a couple of Firefox issues we're still working out. But um, basically, IE 5.5 five and above, like the late you know late model browsers. Yeah. The down level story is just you know, maybe we render it on the server, or maybe we just don't How have about a Opera or Safari. Um, we don't have support right now for Opera or Safari, but we're you know there's a lot of people who have been asking about that, so we're trying to figure out how we're going to work that into our schedule and. Translation, you need the budget for an we attack on your desk, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. yeah we've, we're working on it. We definitely want people to kind of just party on on our platform. Like what you see with weather and stock are basically, <clears throat> um, and I'm sure Steve can talk about the framework, these are basically modules that people can write themselves. Um, it's code that them. any third party developer could write and just drop it in, and we want to enable that for different browsers. and. Right. And you know, Safari developers party on. Just use our yeah. framework and go for it. Um, I mean, I mean, the thing that's cool about the, our whole project of how we're doing this stuff is that we never had a charter that said, "Okay, you're going to make a, a web page that has modules, and and you know, we've got this sidebar over here that you can organize your feeds and things like that." Nobody ever said, you know, make a page that looks like this, right? Um, nobody ever said this is what your charter is. We just basically said. We're going to build what we want to use ourselves, right? Exactly. And I mean, I want to build. You know, this is what I want to build myself. I mean, this or this is what I want to use myself because I'm tired of all the. You know, none of the portal pages really do it for me. I mean, it's uh, definitely our, so. our home. I mean, it's my home page. Yeah. yours. it's got to be like you yeah. know, you know, if if we think it's cool, we're hoping that other people are going to. Yeah, think we're it's not cool. doing the traditional like, okay, what's our vision? What's our charter? What's the business plan? We're kind of like letting that stuff fall into place and just yeah. addressing the customer needs. The main thing is like. We're getting out to web so quickly, and we know there are bugs and whatnot, but our users are helping us design, they're helping us test, and, and we're actually addressing a customer need. And that's why I think we've got, we've got a small audience, but, but they all love the product. Yeah. I mean, do, you think, this, yeah. do you think this design methodology is going to be ratcheted through other places in Microsoft? I hope so, because uh, we've got to change some I mean, <laughs> especially around, I mean, and, you know, we've got to change some of the stuff the way we're doing. I mean, I like, uh, Spaces is pretty cool. I mean, they've, they've been doing stuff pretty quickly. He's from um, Spaces. Yeah. Maybe that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I like Spaces. Um, but hey, Walt Mossberg in the Wall Street Journal just, just yeah. Spaces is pretty cool. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. But, no, seriously, I mean, it's yeah. like, hopefully the stuff that we're doing, people can realize that you don't have to go through two months of planning and two months of specking and three months of you know, developing and three months of testing, and you're gonna, it's not even going to be relevant anymore. It's just like, you know, basically the way we've been working is if we have an idea, we build it, we ship it out there, we see if it works, and if it's crap, then we pull it out, and then if it's cool, then, you know, we, you know, and it's just great leverage to say that, you know what, this thing is, this thing is working, it's successful, you know, I, this is how we should get, yeah, yeah, so, and I hope, and I, I mean, ho hopefully more people in MSN are, are taking notice of what we're doing, because... Yeah. You know, it's, uh, I think it's the, oh, it's, uh, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think I've had these lights on since I, I moved into the office. Sorry. <laughs> you were looking like Darth Vader there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so, yeah, yeah I hope that, I mean, yeah. our team is basically, we were talking about this. It's, it's kind of like we're all the jack of all trades, you know. I'm I'm not really a PM. My title is a PM, but and like Steve is not just a developer. We're all kind of like we all design. We all I well, to a certain design, degree. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> exactly the, we're the like our own marketing team, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, we, we respond are. like personally to all the almost all the feedback yeah. that we get. We're evangelizing. We're evangelizing. We do the designs, yeah. the comps. All the, the design is know. basically Steve and I so far, and and we do get help as needed, but. Yeah. You know, we and that's I think that's that's a, also a different approach of the traditional way is you don't necessarily have to be really good at one particular discipline. You kind of need to be able to put on different hats. You gotta and, wear all the hats. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that that hopefully. So you guys are only two people, right? Well, three. There's a, there, there's we a third have, person who just person. joined. He's in the office right next to us, actually. Who is he? Yeah. Uh, Jose. We can okay. go over there later. But, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So three guys. Three of us. Three people yeah. doing this. Yeah. This is what yeah. we're doing. Yeah.
Awesome. Yeah. What are the other 57,000 people doing here? <laughs> I ask myself every day, and uh, I, I do, so. <laughs> We're really lean, cool lean and mean. Lean and mean. Lean yep. and mean. And we're having fun. I mean, that's the whole point. We're, so are you getting any pressure to put ads on here or do anything like that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, of well, course. I, mean, I, I get all that, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no, I was just going to be on with, with some of that. But yeah. I think the thing is, like, we just have to let people know that for us, it is all about the customer experience first, right? And if, you know, if it starts turning people off because there's this pop-up ads and stuff, I mean, I think you can you do advertising yeah. in a way that's innovative and exactly. not just annoying, right? You can we'll do, do ads, like, you know, yeah, yeah you can do. Sorry, about it. but I mean, we'll we'll do ads only only if it's actually useful. I mean, yeah. I know that we're against like banner ads and and I, I mean, we're all all of us have very hardcore principles about like how a team should run, how we should develop, and what a design should be, everything we are very strong stands on. Like it's it's funny because Steve and I like argue so much about what the page should look like and it's great because we kind of feed off of each other's ideas. Like yeah. do we need like we go down to like do we need a board around the module all well, the way to spent an hour right? <laughs> I know we did. Yeah, we've been working pretty <laughs> We saw borders stuff. around the module and we tried removing it because we were just I'm like, we need a clean page, totally clean, and we kept on experimenting with it until we finally both agreed. So, yeah. but yeah, we, we you guys are going to be pirates soon, aren't you? I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get fired one of these days. Yeah, no. <laughs> totally. Well, that's yeah. great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I hope yeah. other people in Microsoft uh, pick up on this methodology. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, we do need to make some money somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, but, uh, I'm sure we can add ads in a nice way. But. <laughs> yeah, we can do it in a way that's not you know annoying. I think. Yeah, yeah. We can, you know, you know. I mean, I'm not so. I, I don't mind. Well, it ads sounds like you guys have been heavily influenced by a certain company in Mountain View, right? Well, what company? Oh. Would that be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. No comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say hi to say hi to Larry. Hey, so you guys, so I, gay. <laughs> I, I'm a Google fan. I'm a Google fan. So yeah. I hail to them. They're yeah. Well, Google. they invited me to speak at their conference. So nice, yeah. awesome. Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll take you down there and say hey. hey. <laughs> I know a few folks down there. I, yeah, I would love to. <laughs> It's uh, probably sunnier than it is. So what's, I know. what's the, the RSS feed? Show me that. Because that's how you do the cool. column thing, the RSS oh. feed. Uh, yeah, okay. give me more demo. <laughs> All right, so, let's, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a feed here. And for example, I can just type in boingboing.net, right? Yeah. I don't have to know the... And this all is going to have a little bit more work. I mean, you know, my grandma's not going to be able to figure out, oh, I, you know, to type in the URLs. But um, so right now we go off and we figure out that, oh, Boing Boing actually has a... Um, they actually have an RSS feed on the page, and you can see it just popped up over here. Uh, we click on that, and this was all real time. We just we just grabbed it; and it just came in. So I can click on, you know, I can click on all these guys and go and read the, you know, read the news that I'm interested in. Um, and then if I want to, you know, if I want to keep boing boing around on the page, I can just pin him to the page. Yeah. And you can see he's right there. Um, we already had him over here, but that's that's a bug. I know. No, that's okay. That's a bug. Yeah, that's um, we just don't want a bug, but that's okay. So <laughs> you can see that uh, we've got basically, you know. You sort of got like your deep directory of your content that you're interested over here on the left, um, yeah. and then all these things. You know, these are basically my different RSS feeds, and you can see here's like movies.com, and and this one, for example, happens to have an image in it. So if you look on the right side, you know, we've got. Uh, you know, I mean, this is just fast, right? I don't have to go and navigate to a whole different site and wait five minutes for it to load. I can just say, you know, this is the site I want to get my info for. I can go and look, you know, trailers and stuff like that. Yeah. So how does this comp compare to like um, blog lines? Um, it blog lines is this is I guess the way I see it is blog lines is like a sort of professional use kind of application. I mean I'm sure people there expect to be able to have thousands of feeds that they're interested in. Like I mean you read tons of different articles. Fourteen hundred, right? yeah, thirteen hundred um, sixty-eight. So something. we want. I mean you know basically it's just that you know if that's we, we don't know yet. I mean, if we, we want to do the on, stuff that, you know, if we want to, you yeah. know. Well, blog lines is kind of, I think, is a subset of what we are trying to accomplish. We the, don't, we don't, blog lines is definitely, I think, targeted as, like, the RSS geek or, right. you know, people that really want to monitor. It's server-based, right? Exactly. So your stuff is stored think, locally, right? That's right. I mean, yeah, I think of our thing is. is kind of like blog lines meets 
you know, my.msn.com or my Yahoo meets con so blog con confabulator. With blog lines, you can move from computer to computer and it's synced, yeah. it's synced yeah, out. We, and we, we have, have a roaming story as well. Um, hopefully pretty soon. Yeah, like very soon. We have a so. roaming story. I mean, the, oh, is that start.com slash four? Oh, well, we're <laughs> keeping quiet we, we, We're getting that. creative with our URLs. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have some spice. add yeah. a little bit of spice to it. I mean, okay. the, I'd say start is, is kind of blog lines with a much much better user interface. I mean, the key thing about Start is my one of our users actually emailed this to us, and he said, you know, I was looking for an RSS aggregator, and and I went to Bloglines, I didn't even know where to start. And with Start, it's so clean, and you just know where to go. And and also, we're trying to be kind of like you know your web. It goes way beyond RSS, and that's what we're trying to show right. with our with our stock modules, with our weather modules, and soon be, you know, we want people to just party on with on our platforms. And uh, of course everything just has to be fast. I mean it just has to be yeah. content first, get the stuff you're interested in on the on the page, you know, if it's if if there's some flashy stuff that you can do to make it a little more interesting, that's fine, but it's we are just all focused on the content over here. So, yeah. and we think we can do that in a fast way and and have it portable and you know, with you on, on any device, so. Very cool. Okay. This is really cool stuff. I'm, I'm uh, really pleased to meet awesome. you guys. And Very cool. Keep it up. Ship, 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 ship. Ship, ship, yeah. Thank you. We, we keep, love keep, shipping. And then, yes. uh, don't get slowed down because they're, they're going to invite you in to speak to other oh, parts yeah. of Microsoft about how to ship fast. We've got, our, we've got our blinders on and we're like, okay, this yeah. is where we need to go. We're just, you know. That's, we have like a daily way. reminders of, Steve always reminds me of, you know, there's always randomization and all that stuff. And yep. it's, it's not, it's blinders on. <laughs> You're getting your blinders, so. Yeah. Well, that's great stuff. Yeah. Thanks, and thanks for uh, cool. showing us this. Yeah, Thank thanks. you. Thank Good you. luck, and we'll be watching. All right, awesome. Cool.